Yeah. I ain't gonna, bro, I told y'all already at the top of the show that he's an idiot for that. You know, obviously this information came after the fact, right? We found out about this, um, right, after uh, he already had been done with her and all this stuff kind of blew up. That, and we got the real deal. But, you know, he uh, the, thankfully he he got rid of her before then, obviously not early enough, and he did fuck up. We, well, I'm not here to, you know, lie to y'all and say that he didn't fuck up. He did, bro. He did make a mistake here. But what I'm saying is we need to look at the character of this woman. Is she actually telling the truth about this pregnancy? It's questionable. Very questionable. Um, What else we got here? He goes, W mind, W bills, W big mo. That Reddit caller who called a couple months and called out fresh for his chick is looking like a god right now for being spot on about this girl. I don't recall that call, but that's fine. I mean, bro, yeah. I mean, hey, it is what it is. I told y'all already. Uh, man, Myron the goat. Appreciate that, Keem. Uh, shout out to you, my friend. I appreciate that. <laughs> And then we got here, Venom goes, bro, she really a little sex worker in my 50 Cent voice. This is a movie. Hey, man. Like I said before, I didn't, I didn't want to do this, but I had to. Like, this girl went on a press run and kept doing interview after interview after interview, lying and lying and lying. Like, no, nah, man, you're not credible, Jin Chen. You're not credible at all. And I hope you're watching this right now fucking crying because you've been exposed. Okay? Like, you, you need to go back to China is what you need to do. Because... You can, you're here on a fucking visa. For some odd reason, you're still paying that $5,000 a month for rent in New York. I don't know how you can afford that when you're not supposed to be working. How are you making money? You shouldn't be working while you're here. Hmm. McCree says, I've got you in my sights. Hey, man. I'll tell you this, bro. Um, Bob goes, congrats. You saw. You told uh, S, SW you love her to close and nutter in her because... Everything you sell your fans is a lie. Everything about Amru is an act because he is the most insecure person on the internet. Uh, both are clowns. Yell in the mic more, crybaby. Yet you're here watching the show. What does that say about you then? <laughs> and you donated. And you donated. And you donated. So I don't know what the, I mean, I don't know what's worse, bro. You stupid. Okay. Stupid. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Rational Mel says, compare her speech when she's negotiating money as a prostitute to how she talks when she's talking to Alba and Preach. She talks like a woman versus a 10-year-old girl. Man, it is what it is, man. Um, Ricky Sticky says, I ain't trust these hoes ever since Yamcha died protecting the earth and then Bulma dumped him and got with the nigga that tried to destroy it. <laughs> Talk about Vegeta. Yeah. Yo, man. It's over 9,000. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Macabell says, Yo, Marin, always respect the how you defend your homies, but please don't get sued for defamation by this dumb 304. She did do it too. Well, here's the thing about defamation, guys. If it's true, you can't do nothing. The biggest defense to defamation is the truth. What you gonna do? Sue me for telling the truth? We y'all saw it clear as day in 1080p. That's her negotiating with a guy for sex and payment. Yep. There is no there is no defamation. It's the truth. I have her employment documents that show that why she got fired. Y'all saw it. It's there in fucking Chinese, and we translate it for y'all. Can't do nothing. Um, she should have thought about that before going into, before making all these videos and trying to tarnish Fresh's name. She should have thought about all that. Uh, let's fucking go. Too bad this 304 uh, Myron Susung is here to make some sure justice, <laughs> sir. Bring down the hammer, my brother. The truth will prevail. W Myron, W uh, F and F, W Fresh. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I mean, Fresh didn't want me to do this, but I said, nah, man, enough is enough, bro. Enough is enough. Once the, she brought these, you know, anus and reach into it, and uh, I was like, nah, man, nah. And and again, like I said before, the see they 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 claim on their on their YouTube channel, oh we stand for integrity and we're on buzz, blah blah blah. But they brought in this girl, right? That's a crook, by the way, to try to tarnish this man's reputation for clicks and views, not knowing the full story. She's a criminal. Y'all see it? M multiple crimes, multiple felonies were committed by this girl, and y'all saw it right here in 1080p. And that's who they decided to platform to try to bring us down. That's not integrity, man. That's them trying to get clicks and make as much ad revenue as they can. And I'm not surprised. That's what they've been doing. They made almost 40 videos on us, guys. These guys are obsessed with us, man. I haven't mentioned yeah. them in forever, but they're making videos on us at least once a month. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. They're obsessed. Let's. Uh, what else do we got? We got... Uh, 
Miki? Well, who's up here? Meekly. Meekly says, listen here, Big Mo, and listen good. You're going to take my $5 <laughs> chat today, my guy. Faithful supporter of this podcast that really, truly, I thought today would be a Money Monday. Nobody cares about anus and le leech or peaches and cream. They are just attention <laughs> whores looking for 15 seconds of clout. Facts, bro. That's, that's yeah. what they do. That's literally what they do. Uh, first, a fellow Caribbean man, I believed you from the start. It was good, too good to be true. Whether you used Boots uh, contraceptive or not, it seems non-believable. Plus, she's been on IG last week trying to plead a case with the bad English accent acting like Jackie Chan from Rush Hour. SMH. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Todd goes, get Asia the fuck out of here. Get China the fuck out of here. Get Egg Roll the fuck out of here. Get Sushi the fuck out of here. Get Wanda the fuck out of here. Get Jin Chen the fuck out of here. Yeah, bro. Jin, Jin Chen has been lying to everybody, right? She fooled everybody. I mean, hey, bro, even I believed her for a little bit um, that uh, that she came from a good family, etc. Just so y'all know, her mom doesn't talk to her anymore. I wonder why. What? Yeah, her mom doesn't talk to her anymore. So, probably because of this. It is what it is. But we got the truth now. You know, I've always said there's three things that always come to light. That you can't hide. The sun, the moon, and the truth. It took us a little bit of, a bit of time, but we got the truth. And that's what it is, guys. Um, What else do we got here? Myron, watch your sucky, sucky business start booming after this because of a bitch-ass Sims. It is what it is, bro. <laughs> All right, Twitch, we go. Uh, hey, FNF gang, this fresh situation is a do dozy. One doozy. question I'd like, doozy. Uh, I'd like to make... Uh, one suggestion I like to make for the after hour shows instead of asking the girls are they on BC ask do they birth track control. their ovulation women can only get pregnant five days in a month okay birth control uh, Jason Todd says she told Destiny that she wanted to seek legal action because the event was traumatic put that together along with her repeatedly asking Fresh what are you going to do to me clearly on the lineup yeah bro I, and, and, and the fact that like everyone like ran to this girl defense right Oh my God, Fresh is trying to get her to have an abortion, etc. With zero context, when they had agreed that they weren't going to have kids. When she knew he didn't want to have kids. She knew this. Even though she didn't get verbal confirmation, she knew that she didn't want it, but then she's like, I feel like you want to have kids. What are you talking about? Right? Everything that this woman does is emotional, guys. She's went on this whole public press run because she's hurt that Fresh doesn't want to be with her. That's what this all comes down to. He didn't want to get her an apartment, and she went crazy. And she's all angry because she feels like, oh, he uh, he wasted my time. Here's the other thing, too. I told y'all before, he saw these uh, he saw these questionable conversations on WhatsApp on her phone. Angie saw it as well. She went and showed it to Angie when they went to dinner, and she showed her all the guys that were handing her up, all these unsaved numbers from different parts of the world saying, oh, I'll fly you out, blah, 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 all stuff. And she goes and brags to Angie, oh, look, look at all these men that are hitting me up that want to be with me, etc. Well, uh, now that we know what she did as a profession, it all makes sense now, doesn't it? It's all come to full circle what this woman actually is involved in. Now it makes sense why they got held at the airport for two hours. Now it makes sense why she has these four numbers contacting her. Now it makes sense why she's on video negotiating prices for certain favors. But then she's running around and telling Abba and Preach and all these other simps, Oh, I'm not an escort, and they're believing it. Oh, okay, I believe it. Hey, man, well, we got the proof now. Hell, even I believe that she wasn't in the beginning. But, hey, man, like I said before, the truth will always come out. Wayne, here's some cash for the new Punisher Cup, Myron. I appreciate it, man. I got my other one right here, man. Two more on the way. Yeah, two more on the way. <laughs> uh, the Blind Archer says, y'all burn females for having kids for choosing the wrong guy. Is she pregnant? Is fresh with, ev is fresh with everything he is, good and bad, now the wrong guy to choose? No, guys, what I'm telling you is that her pregnancy is questionable. She's lied a million times before, and she went ahead and recorded a phone call conversation for clout. Does this, does, do you think this is behavior of someone that actually is pregnant? If you were really pregnant with this dude's kid, would you be doing a press run? Would you be calling in to, to, calling to get a reaction like that, fishing for a reaction like she did, as I showed you guys earlier? I don't know. I don't think most people that, are rash, that have any type of common sense would do that, right? It's questionable at best, is what I'm trying to say. She's clearly lied about everything else. What makes you think she won't lie about this? Ampy made a few uh, videos uh, videos on FNF. Tell me why they took down the one vid uh, of uh, she's... One of, the videos. one of the videos after Meyer Bigsby video was released. It was when MLD was going through the situation. AP, yeah, exactly. See, here's the thing. I've only responded to Abba Preach. This is our second time we're actually responding to these idiots. Second. And... Um, 
The last time we responded, they took their video down because I debunked them and I made them look bad. But again, we tried we tried not to make gossip, you know, clickbait content on here. We really do try to give you I mean Monday money Monday, Mondays is typically money Monday. We should be talking to you about how to make money on this episode. But obviously, I had to do this instead to clear what the hell's going on and clear the air and expose this chick for the liar that she is, Jin Chen, your real name by the way. Okay? You committing crimes in China and coming over here thinking that you're going to be safe? No. No. You're a crook. Uh, we got here the blind... Uh, S- uh, Somali yeah. Red Pill says, W. Meyer, but the caller who found her on escort site realized this way sooner than you guys and did you turn a blind eye or did you believe it was actually best? This, uh, does that mean when you said her family is rich, she did sell you guys that lie as well? Okay, so guys... The, the website that you're talking about that they showed, that isn't really her profile. It's not. Someone used her photos in it. That's not hers. Because what she really did was she would use SA to do it. She wouldn't use that website that the guy pointed out. Someone used her photos. So, um, so in that case, that wasn't correct. But how she was really marketing it was SA. And we actually have a picture of that. I don't know if we have it in the chat. I can show her on SA using it. But, um, but yeah. What else do we got? Okay, I, I could give it to y'all. I got it. Um, this is a savage life. W. Meyer and, the loyal, and loyalties. Crazy amount of people have made bad conclusions. Reaction channels that haven't done so in the past. The truth is consistent. Some people's faith aren't. Great work, man. Now, I appreciate it, bro. Like I said, this is not to absolve fresh of responsibility here. Yes, he fucked up, guys. Yes, he absolutely fucked up by by dealing with this girl. You know, but hey, this could happen to anyone, guys. I mean, y'all saw it happen with the Tates. They brought these girls over, and those girls went ahead and lied and put a case on them. Fresh de- dealt with this girl. And that now he got uh, got put in this situation, etc. But I think it's very important, right, to look at the individual who's making the accusations and look at their character. Accusation. Is this person, right, credible? Is this person truthful? And the reality is, I've shown y'all, that this woman has no problem with lying, stealing, embezzling, right, committing crimes, committing felonies to get her way. And the job also got rid of her because she was trying to blackmail them. Hmm, I wonder who else he's trying to do that to right now. Anyway, uh, and she wants to stay in the United States, guys, so she's going to do what she can. She obviously doesn't want to be in China for now. We know why she doesn't want to be in China. She basically ran from China because they know her out there. Zip Ryder goes, enough with the out of context hit piece. It's time to support. You can thank the quartering's dumbass opinion on this decision. Love you guys. WFNF, W Roasting, Fat Chicks. Yeah, the quartering, he's a hater too. He's a hater too. He's in the chat watching? He probably is. He, like, that's why he watches us and we don't watch him. I don't know who he was before the, he started talking shit about us, this fucking weirdo. I know who he was. I ain't know either. I don't know. Talking about, oh yeah, you guys talk about abortion. You abort diet and exercise. Oh, How about that? God damn. You fat fuck. <laughs> I could cook you too. That's why you got beat up at a convention by a crossdresser, and you over here talking yeah, shit to I me. Got time, you man. fucking loser. Damn, by oh my That's the truth too. You got, beat up. You got some dude beat the fuck out of him at a convention. At a convention. Yep. At a convention. Yep. Oh, beat his ass, and he's over here pissing on his floor like an idiot at his own house. Oh Get the fuck up out of here, God. talking shit, man. That's a <laughs> uh, let's see here. Also, and that's why he's watching us, like the fucking fanboy that he is. Also, take notice, boys. They're always making fresh and fit compare high value mantra with religious blindness. Christ is king, but I'm religious. Why would I do that? Is a new crocodile tears. Yeah, here's the other thing, too. People kind of, like people came at fresh for this whole abortion thing. Guys, we've told you all on this podcast a million times we're not religious. We brought people on that are religious. We brought Muhammad Hijab on. We brought Andrew Wilson on. We brought guys that are religious on. However, we are not religious. This is a dating podcast. We teach you how to womanize over here, okay? Last time I checked, it's you shouldn't be womanizing if you're, um, <laughs> you know, a devout Christian or Muslim, right? And we've admitted that we're not. We teach you guys how to self-improve so that you can go ahead and get girls. And this comes with the territory. I'm going to be very honest about this and transparent that when you deal with girls, this could happen. When you're a player, you're out here dealing with women, 
Every guy that's been involved with chicks and out here being a player has had a pregnancy scare. Everyone has had an SCI scare. It happens. This is the risk you take if you want to go down this road. But we've been very honest and transparent about that since the beginning, and I guess people tend to think that we're some kind of religious podcast. We're not. That's why when idiots like the quartering try to sit here and push Christian values on us as if we're religious, we're not. We never said that we were. But again, this comes from people that don't watch the content, they're not aware of the content, and they're just sitting in the back talking shit, giving their bottom feet air commentary like Abba and preaching the quartering and all these other losers on YouTube. They got something to say. At the end of the day, you are fat. You are a loser. You talk about abortion of, of girl, uh, kids, but the reality is you've aborted a diet and healthy eating for a very long time, and that's why you're a fat fucking slob and you look like shit and you're a loser pissing on the fucking floor in your own house. You're a weirdo. Oh, you're a fucking weirdo. Talking shit on Twitter, mentioning me every two seconds. It's weird. What's wrong with you? Like, seriously, what is wrong with you? That's why that fucking crossdresser fucked you up in person. See, the thing is, a lot of these people are keyboard warriors are not used to being held accountable for their actions and what they say, right? Just like Abba. He, he's been over here talking shit, making 40 plus, 30, almost 40 videos on us, talking shit. But he will never see me in person. That's why he's running around. Oh, yeah, I'm safe nope. behind the computer. I'm safe behind my video. Let me go ahead and record and edit this thing because I'm so thirsty for content. But you'll never say that stuff to my face. You will put on the boxing gloves and box. No. Nope. Hey, we could give the money to charity. We could box and send the money to Palestine. How about that? Send the money to Gaza. Would you do that? Oh, no, you won't. No. Nope. You probably won't because you're a fucking coward. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. Because I'll beat you up for free, honestly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else do we got here? Jeep, Jinping, and Overwatch China Man are disappointed. Hey, man. It is what it is, bro. <laughs> uh, was she on birth control? That's Fresh's favorite question, so I'm assuming he asked her. I think he did it on live, too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Easy Money says, what's her number? I got some extra cash this week. She, oh my God. Man. You fucking got it. Why'd you try and seek asylum CBP now? Nah, man. She got to go back to China after this one, bro. Uh, hey, Mo, how do you feel about Cody finishing his story? Ah, that was a fantastic WrestleMania, by the way. Um, I loved it. I was rooting for it. I was part of the We Want Cody mob. Um, I'm still a Roman Reigns fan, but this was the right decision to make. Um... She only goes for an hour. I guess the stereotype of me, love you long time, oh. was a lie. <laughs> I knew the child was going to have some fucking funny shit to say, bro. God damn. I knew they were going to say some funny shit. What's wild is the game you're putting us on through Fresh's mistake. The whole two phone call thing where she tried to bait him on the second has me making sure I never spaz on three or four again. Yeah, bro. Guys, I mean, there's a learning lesson here that when a girl calls you like this, stay calm. Fresh, though he made a mistake here. I mean, I think him staying calm and saying, okay, whatever, was, was great, right? She tried to obviously make him look crazy, which it can be, which can absolutely come off that way if you don't have full context like we have now. But, bro, this, this woman is a crook. She's a liar. So I'm not surprised that she did this. It's nothing for her to try to blackmail someone like she is right now because she's hurt and her feelings. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else? Yes. Please. All right. We'll read these, then we'll close out here, guys. I truly believe that she is lying about the pregnancy. All the markers are there. But if she is and Fresh is the father, he should not be the face of FNF or the Manosphere just networking. Like I said before, it's very questionable that she's pregnant, guys. I don't think anyone that was pregnant and intending to keep the baby, as she's claiming, would go through all this. It's weird. What does that say about you as a mother? Mm -hmm. like, the, like, if she were actually pregnant and the kid were to come, were to come and be born, like, he's going to have videos of his mom doing this stupid shit. I don't know. I think I think at best it's questionable. What else do we got? Uh, WFNF W1811. Appreciate that, my friend. Uh, Goku the Goat Myron, you make the first look worse. You said you guys said parents got money and she was not an escort. Both sides lied and Fresh busted an escort. That caller was right. Again, anyway. like I said before. It doesn't matter. What you think? <laughs> Goku got that's bills. Bills don't let, hate that nigga, man. Um, bro, I said like like I said before, we were wrong in the beginning. But we found out what it was. This obviously all came later on. Yeah, it is what it is, man. People people can make mistakes, man. Like I said, that was early in the vetting process, bro. He had known her for a few days at that point. And obviously, if people on the internet are attacking a girl that you're seeing, right, you're going to come to defend her. He did what a guy should do. He defended the girl that he was seeing at the time. Now, obviously, we've come to find out that it was a lie, but she lied to everybody. She lied to everybody. I mean, you wouldn't have found this information out either. Bro, she did all her dirt in China. I had to pull out fucking Mandarin documents to show y'all niggas that she's a fucking scam artist. <laughs> you know, I had to get stuff from the other side of the world. So none of us would have known. Everybody got fooled, bro. It is what it is. 
But we know the truth now. Uh, I, hold on, I got you. What is it? Uh, what's her number? I got some extra cash. Uh, no, no. We oh, we got that. Don't? Okay. Uh, man, listen, I'm trying to sling sling some ling ling from ching ching. Man, <laughs> this guy, man. All right, the pick of me now. Stay with you guys. A girl uh, cropped an ultrasound of Google to say she was pregnant by me. Luckily, I had someone... Uh, tell me how dumb I was. It didn't ha uh, have the name or time of day she came in. Woo. Yeah, bro, this is what happens. Because, look, as y'all remember, a girl three years ago tried to say that I got her pregnant. Like, this happens, man. This happens. Like, it's almost inevitable that if you got some money or you got some status or whatever, a girl's going to come and lie and say that you that you got me pregnant. It just happens, man. I went through this three years ago, right? Obviously, she lied, right? There, there's no kid to be seen. She never got an abortion and nothing, like, because she was never pregnant in the first place. These girls lie, bro. She lied because she knew that she could go ahead and make fresh look terrible. That's why she called and set this all up. This was all premeditated. This was all planned. Why would she call and ask these probing questions in the way that she would if she didn't have a, a game plan? And then she went ahead and did a press release after the fact. Y'all really believe her? Especially now that I've exposed the things that she was involved in in the past? Her credibility is shot at this point. Completely shot. Um, snow bunnies are bad enough white women getting with the blacks but a rice bunny that's a spy gtfo bro opp is here okay all right these two right here and we're done last two okay um pim rogers first time watching auburn preach they look like those two retards from nickelodeon welcome to good burger <laughs> <laughs> but, uh roll up tomasi says jeremy from the quartering owes y'all a huge apology after this see y'all access vegas next week we got you fam yep. he, yeah I, hey he does owe us an apology but he's probably not going to do it because the guy nope. Makes money off of talking shit about people, just like Auburn preached. These commentary channels, that's how they make their living, is talking poorly about other individuals without all the facts. Yeah. That's what they do. That's what they do. Um, uh, they're going to they make another one. Like, yeah, he's probably going to make a hippie's right. He's probably recording right now yeah, as we speak. As we yeah, he's right probably going to make a video right now. Like, But still, he wanted to get the abortion. It's like, bruh. Like, Accusations. You need to focus on your health and diet over Fresh's health and fucking yeah. Yeah, what he's going got going on. Um, you are fat as fuck. Um, what else yeah. we got here? Yeah. We got, we're good. All right, guys. Again, I hate this drama shit, man. I really hate it. I, I didn't want to have to do this shit like I said before. I want to do a Money Monday with y'all, but enough was enough, and we had to go ahead, man. Expose this chick, man. You know, obviously I'm gonna put timestamps in here so you guys can go through it. But she lied, straight up. She lied, and and I'm I'm gonna take accountability and say that she she fooled even us, right? Um, luckily, some good Samaritans came forward and provided us some information all the way from the other side of the world, um, anonymously, of course, right? That's why we had to protect their uh, identity. But um, you guys got the evidence now. You guys can go ahead and, you know, th uh, make your own conclusions if you believe her about this pregnancy. But you, you guys have it there, right? This woman clearly has no issue with stealing, no issue with embezzling, no issue with using blackmail, no issue with selling herself, having sugar daddies, etc. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem credible to me, but you guys can make your own decision.